Yes, we have a brand new sound pack here in Logic Pro for iPad, the Hybrid Textures Sample Alchemy Pack. So in this video, we're going to take a complete look at everything included in this new pack. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live. Today, yes, Logic Pro for iPad got its first big update to version 1.1, and included with that update is this, the Hybrid Textures Pack. What's in it? What can we do with it? That's what we're about to find out. If you're new to Logic Pro for iPad, I've got you covered. There's a complete list of tutorials down in the description. You'll also find a video outlining all of the new features of version 1.1, including the very cool new mastering assistant. Let's dive into this pack. To download it, we need to tap in the bottom left here to go to our browser and then tap on Sound Library. It'll be right up the top here because it's brand new. Just tap on this one and here where I've got preview, you'll have a get button. Hit the get button, it'll download, install, and you can hit the preview button to take a listen to what these sounds are all about. This pack includes 81 Apple Loops and 70 Alchemy Synth patches. How do we use those? What do they sound like? Let's dive in and take a look right now. To access these new sounds, once again, we're going to tap on the browser in the bottom left corner, and we're going to tap on Loops. This will bring us into our Loops browser with every different loop across all the packs and all the instruments. Now, to actually define this to just the hybrid textures pack, we need to hit the filter button which is just in the top right here and down the bottom if we scroll down we have sound packs now it can be a little bit hard to read but if we scroll all the way across there we need to find the hybrid textures pack and tap on that one and there it is it's about two-thirds the way along that list of packs if you're playing along at home let's tap on hybrid textures and what this is going to do is filter down to just the sounds that are in this pack let's hit the done button in the top right corner there and let's start sampling some of these sounds to preview any sound, all we need to do is come over to the left here on the icon and tap on the play button. And tap again to pause. There's also a cool new feature in version 1.1 of Logic Pro for iPad, which is that we can actually drag down this list of samples and preview them one after the other. Let's try that now. I'm going to tap and hold on the anthem opening chords and drag down, and you'll hear that we'll quickly audition all of these different sounds. Really great if you're just trying to find exactly the right sound from a whole bunch of different sounds here. You may have noticed we've got three different colors and types of icons for these sounds. We've got the green MIDI loop, we've got the purple, which are our sample alchemy, and we've got blue, which are our standard audio files that we can use here in our projects. We can use each of these three in a number of different ways, and we're gonna show you how to do that now. Let's start with a basic audio loop. So if we grab this storyteller loop, we can preview it by tapping and tappy again if we want to bring it into our project we just need to tap and hold and drag it over and there's two places we can drop it the simplest way to go is just to put it straight in your project and it's created a loop right there the other thing we can do with this and any of the others is actually drag and drop it over here on our track header and when we do that it gives us the option to use sample alchemy quick sampler or even the drum machine designer to create a sound based on this sample. We'll show you those options in a little bit. So to play our track with this loop now, we just come up to the play button or hit the space bar if you're using a keyboard. pretty cool. The next type of loops we have in here are our MIDI loops. So these differ because these will actually create a MIDI pattern instead of just being a standard audio loop, meaning we can edit and change the notes being played. So let's take a look at uh, perhaps this water jug. Sounds like fun. Let's tap it. Yeah, that might work. Let's grab this and drag this once again over into our project. It'll line up because it'll actually match with the beat and the tempo we've got there. And then again, we can hit the space bar or the play button to play our project. Interesting sound. And the cool thing is, as you heard there, it doesn't work kind of in that second half, but because it's a loop, we can grab this, we can drag it, and then we can re-loop it out so that we're just using the first half. The other thing we can do with our loops, which I explained in other videos, you can find a link down in the description, is tap and hold, and then we can edit these. So we can show these in the editor by bringing that up there. Or the easier way is with this selected, just hit the editor icon button down below. And now you can see we can edit the notes, the velocity, 
velocity, we can change a whole bunch about each of these loops. There are also some editing features for our audio loops. If you tap on that one, you can edit your audio file in here to chop it up and to change things as you wish. The third and final type of sample we have in here is our sample alchemy. And again, there are two ways to use this one. So if we wanted this surreal intermission organ, which I'm a little bit in love with, let's just sample it. Too much fun. Let's bring this into our track by tapping, holding, and dragging it over. And once again, just dropping it on a fresh track. And now we've got these three. Will they work together? Probably not. Not at all. Okay, I've adjusted a couple of the loops here just to make it sound a little more cohesive. You'll get to hear what I've done in just a moment. The other way we can use these is to actually drag them onto our track header, which is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's just find another sound here. What about this animatronic ballerina? Creepy. So what we can do with these ones is actually tap and hold and drag these across. And this time, instead of creating the loop, we're actually going to tap and drag it onto our track header. Now, there's a few things we can do here. We can use the Sample Alchemy Quick Sampler or Drum Machine Designer. Let's use the Sample Alchemy because this is kind of fun. And what we can now do is play... this using our keyboard. So we can actually create our own loops using those sounds. If you want to see behind the scenes and under the hood, we tap on the plugin button here and there's our Sample Alchemy. If we double tap on here, it's going to open up in its full view. Now Sample Alchemy is a pretty complicated beast and it's outside of the scope of this video, but there's other videos linked in the description all about it. So we can make a whole bunch of adjustments to the sound here using all of these settings. And then when we play, it's going to play that sound and you can play chords as well. But because this is like a rhythmic sound, probably not going to work so well with that one. So let's try a different type of sound that may work a little better with our sampler. Let's try that again with a different sound. This time we're going to use this audio file of Ruby. We're going to tap and hold, drag and drop onto our track header there. This time let's choose the quick sampler and that will create again a sampler track here. But, uh, we're playing it and nothing's happening. That's because the quick sampler is actually pretty clever. It's created a split sample here instead of just a straight sample. So to adjust that, we simply tap on the button here, the plugin button, double tap on the quick sampler properly like that. And you can see here it's created this. So it's added and attached parts of this loop to different notes, which are C1, D1 and E1. So if we actually go down on our keyboard here, It's playing those three samples just on those three notes, which could be useful for us. But if we just want to use this as a simple sample, we can just hit the classic button here. And now what we can do is as we play any of these notes, it'll play that sample. Now, if we only want a small part of that, we can actually grab these handles. So at the end here, we can grab this handle, drag it on back to the end there, and then put our front handle right at the trigger point here. So maybe right there. And now we could just play that. You can make it as short or as long as you want to. So if we wanted it to be like a quicker kind of sample, you can actually bring that closer or further away. So you've got a heap of options here with how we set up the samples in the quick sampler. If we want to then play and record it, we hit the record button. Interesting stuff. So yeah, not exactly the sort of sounds that we'd work together with this, but this is the great thing. You can mix and match and we're using sounds just from one pack, but you could use a whole bunch of different packs together here in Logic Pro. And again, if we want to edit this, we tap on it, hit the edit button here, and you can edit these notes because you're playing this sampled sound using MIDI notes, which gives you the ultimate flexibility to be able to edit it after it's been recorded. Now, the final way to use these is not going to be super relevant because these are all melodic loops works better with more rhythmic loops, but we can create a drum machine with these. So if we just grab one of these at random and drop it again over here, you can go to Drum Machine Designer, and this is actually going to create you a drum machine track out of all of these samples so that you can... 
You can play all the different samples there. Once again, there's a heap that you can do under the hood here to change the drum machine sampler and to customize it to your needs. Once again, better for a rhythmic sort of loop where you've got some hi-hats and kick drums and other things in there, but you could create some unique sounds just using the pads here. There's a whole lot more that we can do with this, but there's one other way you may wanna use these sounds, and that is to use the samples directly. To do that, we tap in the bottom left here on our browser, and this time, instead of loops, we're going into samples. We'll again need to filter by tapping in the top right corner there, coming down to the bottom with these sound packs and finding our hybrid textures. There it is, once again, about two thirds the way along. Tap on that one and then hit the done button. So now, we can actually use any of these sounds in our project. For instance, if we want this cello, this little cello riff, we can grab this and drag it across. Again, if we're using it as a loop, we can drop it straight on there. Now, we will need to convert the file sometimes because a lot of these are 44.1 kilohertz files. I've got my project set to 48. But now, if we just solo this, we've got a very nice little cello sound here in our track. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. The other way we can use these samples directly is by throwing them onto a track header and creating a new track. So let's grab these deep piano octaves and throw them on here and grab this and go quick sampler perhaps. We'll need to solo that, otherwise we won't hear anything. And then if we play, as we hold down, it plays the whole sample. Once again, if we want to adjust that, we just need to hit that button there, our plugins button, double tap on the quick sampler. And if we want just part of this, we can again, just go with say that first note and then we can play those together. So you can use these in a number of different ways. And to record using this sound, just hit the record button and play. <laughs> There you have it, the brand new sound library here, Sample Alchemy. Now this is Logic Pro iPad exclusive. It's not available in GarageBand iOS, unfortunately, because of those Sample Alchemy patches. But if you've got Logic Pro, upgrade to version 1.1, download this pack. I'm looking forward to hearing the cool sounds that you make with it. If you wanna learn more about Logic Pro for iPad, check out the complete list of tutorials linked down in the description and I'll see you next time.